This is the second battle in the blue tournament between Achilles and Hyamachus. Achilles is commanding Royal Scythia, while Hyamachus is commanding Sparta. Hyamachus is creating a box here. The problem is that Hyamachus only has four pikes. He's putting his pikes on the flanks. He has one Hoplite unit in the back. His front line consists of, let's see, he has four pikes, then he has uh, four Spartan Hoplites, I think, that I can see at least, two Perikis Spears, Boil Spartans, three Tarantines, uh, three Gorgos, but I can't see his entire army yet, another Gorgos. For uh, Achilles, we have a total of eight uh, Scythian noble women and Amazonians. Then we have a total of six step noble lancers. We have, I believe, six Thracian, or does he only have five? Five Thracian warriors, one Scythian royal horse commander general. And the problem with Hyamachus's setup here is that one cavalry charge is going to. These, these Spartan Hoplites are two ranks deep at the sides, three ranks deep in the center. Uh, while it's a nice idea by Hyamachus having Periki Spears in the second line to throw Precursor Javelins, they only have a range of 40. And a cavalry charge in the front of these uh, Spartan Hoplites is going to absolutely destroy them. If you're going to box, you need... Either you need more dense lines of Hoplites uh, and more Precursor Javelins to throw at the uh, charging shock cavalry units. Certainly not a very wide front like this. Uh, and you would also preferably need more pikes. So under these rules, I believe you could bring eight pikes. Not a hundred percent sure. Uh, maybe you could only bring six, but six pikes would be better. I know it's against the rules to box up completely, even against the nomads, which gives the nomads uh, an advantage. The nomads can also bring eight horse archers and six infantry under these rules, which makes them very, very dangerous indeed. And especially when a faction like Sparta can't box. And when it lacks precursor javelins, then it's going to be super, super hard. Because uh, there's a max 8 of the same unit type. So that means that Sparta can only bring 8 spears, but they could also potentially have brought 8 pikes. Um, so bringing 8 pikes and leaving a small opening would mean that it wasn't a box, but it would be much, much easier to defend for Sparta. Tarantines are going to be used to chase away Amazonians. Which is a nice use of them. Uh, I think three Tarantines might be a bit overkill. Two is plenty. Uh, I would personally not have chosen any cavalry in this instance. Just went for enough infantry that the Amazonians weren't able to kill them all. Gorgos are getting some nice shots off here on these uh, Scythian noblewomen. The Scythian noblewomen have armor so it's going to be harder to take them down. Then it's going to be to take down the um, the uh, the regular Amazonians. So the Gorgos not really getting any kills yet. Achilles is baiting, but Achilles doesn't need to. This is the dangerous thing for Hyamachus. Achilles doesn't need to kill the pikes in order to win here because Hyamachus can't box effectively with only four pikes. Uh, if all of these units start dying, then Hyamachus can box up in the late game, but he does not have. Uh, enough units to avoid simply getting overwhelmed. So this is sort of a nomad player's dream, just having big uh, juicy thin lines of infantry to charge through. Especially since he has Thracians as well, the frontal cavalry charge plus follow up by a, hard ch a high charge unit like these Thracian warriors is absolutely devastating to Hoplites. Uh, 36 charge bonus and 45 weapon damage, that's just going to absolutely wreck Spartan Hoplites on the charge. The problem is that many of the, in a head-on engagement, the Thracians, due to their abysmal melee attack and low armor, they're going to die in droves, but, but if you can knock down the enemy unit and then pour in the Thracians, they're going to get massive kills. So the Tarantines are skirmishing a bit here, actually managed to kill some Amazonians and get some javelins into these Amazonians, so nicely done there by Hyamachus. 
but baiting a few arrows, but none of this is any Clean use. None of this is any use uh, if and when Hyamachus just gets YOLO charged to death. And Achilles is telegraphing what he's doing here. Hyamachus would have had the time to push up his pikes, but he's not going to do it. He's just going to rush in, bait some shots, then he's going to rush in uh, with his his lancers. And this is this is just going to be devastating for Sparta. Let's have a look at what happens here. Hyamachus is going into Phalanx too late. So his entire front line is, at this point, it's basically gone. The Step Noble Lancers did take quite a few casualties, but there are Thracians incoming. And the the Tarantines are getting some, some nice kills now, actually. Gorgos as well. But the front lines of Sparta are in complete disarray. And this is just from one cavalry charge. You can see how quickly the Step Noble Lancers die to Precursor Javelins and such. But at the second charge, these Spartans are going to get so wrecked, it's not even funny. Look at them. Being spread this thin is suicide against Shock Cavalry. Uh, the entire front line of Sparta is gone. And now the Thracians are going to rush in to finish the job. Very nicely done by Achilles. Let's just have a look at the kills from the Thracians. Look at these kills. And these are on Spartan Hoplites. The Spartan Hoplites are just disappearing under the Thracian warriors. No chance at all. The Royal Spartan General is going to get some nice kills, but that won't really help when the Thracians just destroy the front lines. Hyamachus not responding with his pikes in time. He doesn't have enough pikes to respond either. The Perky Spears are getting massive kills with their precursors, but... Uh, the pikes, the skirmishers, everything is just getting getting destroyed. So Hoplite box uh, doesn't work against nomads. Just it flat out does not work. If you have a full stack of Hoplites and your enemy has a lot of shock cavalry, you're probably going to lose. Hoplites do Hoplites are are absolutely terrible against uh, charging shock cavalry. They'll be able to knock down the Hoplites. The Hoplites are not able to do anything against uh, good cavalry, basically. And these Step Noble Lancers, 76 charge bonus, uh, very heavy. They're going to wreck even the heaviest uh, infantry. Royal Spartans being fought in the center. Um, Achilles is not even using his... He's not even using his Draco to reduce the bonus against cavalry on his units here. He's winning without Draco. These pikes are going to get attacked in the back. They are Spartan pikes, uh, so they're going to hold. The uh, very good morale for the Spartan pikes and the Spartan Hopetes. But at this point, it's just, I mean, the pikes are getting recharged all across the map. And uh, the Thracians, they are starting to drop because they are very, very fragile troops and all the Thracians are actually off the field now but they have more than done their job in cleaning up the front line and conserving the ammunition at least to some degree for for um, Achilles means that he won't really have problems killing off all of the Spartan pikes so yeah there there is nothing that Hyamachus can do here Bringing, bringing a hoplite, sort of a hoplite pike mix box is, is not just not going to work against nomads. Panda Warrior did something similar to this and made it work, but he was a lot more active with his skirmishers and with his cavalry. And he also pulled the nomads in and then fired upon them with his skirmishers. Pulled them in with hoplites. Uh, Panda Warrior's box was different. It was a wedge with more infantry frontally. So that's going to help. But Sparta, under these rules, not great. Macedon would be a vastly superior choice. Because Macedon can bring... Um, also bring pikes. Macedon can also bring Thoreos. Which could be very effective against the uh, Thracians. And also keep uh, charging cavalry at bay. Because if, if the cavalry tries to charge six Thoreos, uh, the cavalry is going to take massive damage. 
And Thoreos can also use square, which is very effective in defending the angles, uh, defending the the uh, gaps in pike formations, and also throwing javelins in 360, which can be super super annoying. So now it's just a matter of, of uh, Achilles shooting the remaining Spartans, cycle charging the remaining Spartans to death. The Royal Spartans have gotten some nice kills, but they're getting shot to pieces now. So this is the last stand of the Spartans. More charges incoming, Royal Spartans getting wrecked by uh, Step Noble Lancers. And Hyamak is still, well, if he tried to box, it wouldn't really work. Uh, Achilles has so many units left that Hyamakis' army is just going to chain route due to being so outnumbered. And the Spartan army is off the field. Achilles won that series very convincingly 2-0, to zero. he played well. Uh, the same can unfortunately not be said by Hyamachus, but something that needs to be said about Hyamachus is that it's amazing that he's made it so far in the tournament, because he is a fairly new player. He's beaten some very good opponents to to get where he's at, and I think the mistakes he made here in in the first battle and the second battle are mistakes that come down to experience, like knowing that this type of Sparta box is never going to work against eight horse archers and infantry. It's just, it, it's not going to happen. And uh, like not getting his charges off with the barbarian infantry in the first battle, getting outflanked because he didn't scout, stuff like that. It may seem like simple things, but they are the things that make the difference between being able to win consistently and um, making mistakes that cost you games but it it, it needs to also needs to be said that uh, very good players the best players in the game also make mistakes like these uh, human error is a very real factor in how these games turn out so uh, achilles was on his game in both of these battles hyamachus was not but i'm sure that hyamachus has learned a lot about the game and how to play it in a very short amount of time and I'm sure Hyamak has learned a lot from these battles against Achilles as well. How to counter nomads with a lot of horse archers, uh, <laughs> of course the importance of getting charges with your barbarian mainline, uh, but still two, two, very good, uh, two very good battles I think, mainly for Achilles since he won in a convincing, convincing fashion. So Achilles is going to be advancing to the next round of the blue tournament while Hyamachus is out. Good game, well played to both players. Uh, and I have to say I am impressed by Hyamachus in making it this far in the tournament. I met Hyamachus by chance in quick battles a um, while ago. Then he was pretty new to the game and he played like he was pretty new to the game. But now he's trading blows with the best and uh, uh, I'm sure we'll see... A lot more good games from Hyamachus. Strength and honor.